Just about 7 a.m. The White Mountains of New Hampshire. And they're starting their bullshit spraying again. There's another one off over there in the distance. By mid-morning there'll be a big haze in the sky. It's wonderful. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. Well, material's not delivered, so we're trying to scrounge up more work. We're up here in Bartlett, and uh, you saw this morning a couple shots of the chemtrails in North Conway. Where I am now is about 20 minutes, 25 minutes maybe north of there, right across from the Atatash ski area at the timeshare. But I'm going to go out and show you what I just saw, and I'm going to talk to you about what I'm about to do next, because I've had enough of the fucking bullshit, okay? This beautiful place. Beautiful. In a minute you'll see the snow guns going, making snow, everything's beautiful, my kids play here, they swim here in the summer, they climb in these woods, they even eat some of the food that's grown here. And some cocksuckers have the nerve to spray my children's skies. Now this morning maybe those shots weren't that great. Maybe you could justify it as a contrail. Uh, you know, still asleep like a sheep. But hopefully you can see the skies now. This stuff is spread out. There goes some more. On the way up, you can see it's starting to dissipate. Hopefully I'll give you a good shot of what I saw on the way up, the crisscross pattern that's very common. You see it on hundreds of videos everywhere, thousands probably, by now. All that created for you. And here we go, we're coming into where you can probably see, hopefully the camera's good enough, see some of the crisscross patterns. It's starting to fade and blend all into one. You can also see the familiar rippled cloud effects, or maybe the harp shooting off or something. I've fucking had enough. I've had enough. And for you sheep, or, or anybody that doesn't know, I'm sorry about the word sheep. I, you're equal to me, because I was here just two years ago. Uh, so, thank God that I started uh, thinking about doing YouTube, so I wouldn't have known any of this shit. I mean, I would have known something was wrong. I knew something was wrong, but I never researched it, and I never thought about it to the degree, the degree that I was pissed off, because I was running for that almighty dollar that you owe $52,000, roughly, of to cover the debt. And this is what I get for my money? No, I don't fucking think so. Uh... And I'm out scrounging up work. You can't even fucking work here, okay? And I really don't want to be doing this shit anyway. It hurts. Let's put the tool belt on. I want to do what I'm doing. So hopefully the support is there. I would like to eventually, maybe by summer, take the radio shows and the YouTube on the road and get in people's faces and make things happen shake people up. I'm, I'm sick of just talking about it sitting on my ass and I don't want to keep the tool belt on. So if you'd like to take part in helping that happen, visit the website. Uh, there's a support page. We've got some people that are, are subscribing on a small amount on a monthly basis. That's going to be awesome. And I will let you know that there possibly could be a camera crew available to me uh, if I can get my end of it in gear and be ready to travel by the end of the school year. So, food for thought. We have to get there first, but that's what I'm shooting for. And if you'd like to see me in your town one day, approaching the governor and asking him why he's allowed to do this, then that's what I'll do, because it's my thought that our governors have to take this 
country back. Uh, and if they're not going to do it in one fell swoop, they're going to do it one piece at a time. And the first piece my governor is going to get a petition of is to test the rain in the ground and see just how much of this shit that they're spraying on us is actually in our food and water. Anyway, I don't know when I'll be home, but when I do, I'll upload this video and uh, create the petition. The link will be below in the description. Much love, many thanks. Hello again, human beings from the planet Earth. I'm sitting here waiting for my buddy Dan and thinking, my wheels are turning. I'm sick of this bullshit spraying us like we're rodents. Um, so I'm willing to take the extra time here. You know, I was going to just encourage you guys to seek out your governor and file a separate petition. But what I think is even better than that and more effective and will save you some time is I'm going to take the time tonight to um, put together a list of every governor of every 50, all 50 states and th they're changing here in December or January depending on your state so I'm not going to petition your current governor like in my case uh, Mr. Lynch won't be on the petition but Maggie Hassan will be and your next governor will be all 50 of them and in that way people from every 50 states can sign the same petition okay and then what I'm going to ask you to do is download the file as if you're going to print it. But I don't want you to have to use your ink and your paper and a stamp to mail it to your governor. No, no, that's not efficient. But you could use the free fax services that are on my website to fax it to them after you've signed it online. We need to shake them up, and if they're going to waste our money on polluting our skies and our water, they're going to have to spend a little bit more on fax paper and ink as well. Much love. Um, I'm going to put at least this portion up tonight, even if I don't have the entire list created or the petition, and I'll just put another video up. So either look for that at the tail end of this, uh, but if the video stops, then be on alert for the next video that will show you the petition and everything else. So anyway, I, I've had enough. I, I, I don't know about you. And I can't tell you that everybody can stand up with the uh, tenacity that I do. And that's fine, because we all have something to do. Even if you sit quietly at home and don't tell anybody you did it. That's fine with me. But just do something. Do something. We have to. Oh, look, Everything's a fucking mess, people. Everything's a mess. The economy, your food is not safe. Your air, water is not safe. If you live in a snow belt area, it's even worse, especially with the uh, radiation in the atmosphere. Because as snow falls, it accumulates more radiation than it does rain. So, you people in these pristine areas like I am, you think everything is fine. You might be in worse shape than the people in downtown L.A. Nobody's tested your water. You don't know. I saw the map this morning of the levels of fluoridation in the public water supplies for the entire country. I'm going to look that up and save that and try to get that up on video to you. There's only five or six spots in the whole country that don't have any fluoride at all. Let me uh, relate that to you. You know people on Prozac and how pretty mellow, pretty accepting, pretty docile. Okay, same basic ingredient in your water. Much, much lower levels, much lower than a Prozac, but it accumulates. And what it boils down to, people, that since the 50s, you've been taking Prozac. You just didn't know it. You thought it was good for your teeth. Like I said, you've got to do something. Start somewhere. Links will be below. There may be another video related to this coming after this, depending on uh, what happens when I get home today and, and what else is uh, in the e inbox, etc., etc. 
Much love. See you soon.